Hi everyone, welcome back to Gido. Today we will show you how to replace LCD and touchscreen assembly with the frame on Samsung Galaxy A42 5G mobile phone. To start, we need the right tools to proceed with the repair which you can find in the description. First, take out the back cover from the body. To remove the back cover, it needs to heat gently around the back cover edges until the paste adhesive becomes soft. For this, we are using a heating pad. Place the back cover on the heating pad and select the mobile phone heating option and leave it till it completes. Alternatively, you can use a heat gun or hair dryer. Next, create an opening using a suction cup. And then, insert a plastic cup right tool or something similar to cut the adhesive around the back cover. Next, take out the back cover and then eject the SIM tray. Next, undo 15 screws on the mid frame. Next, use a plastic cup right tool to create an opening to separate the mid frame. Be gentle and work around the edges to free the plastic clips. Take out the mid frame and then disconnect the battery plug. Next, disconnect and pull out the main flex from the body. Next, remove the battery from the body. First, apply heat or add isopropyl alcohol to soften the glue on the battery. And then, use a plastic cup right tool or something similar to cut the adhesive. Be gentle in this process and pull out the battery using a pry tool. Next, disconnect both antenna heads from the logic board. Next, pull out the logic board by undoing the screw. Next, 
Next, take out the earpiece by applying some heat. Next, pull out the vibrator motor by applying heat. Next, gently peel the power and volume button flex cable by applying some heat. Next, add some heat to release the touch ID camera from the body. Next, Pull out the charging port board with two antennas by undoing the screw. Now the only remaining part is the broken front screen assembly with the frame. For the replacement there are two different screen types. One is with the frame and the other one is without the frame. It can be original, used, refurbished or aftermarket. Either version you choose, you can get with the frame and without. But the most straightforward repair will be with the frame. And the price difference is slight. I recommend you go with the screen with the frame installed. It can be original, refurbished, used or aftermarket. And this type is commonly available to purchase. Next, on the new screen frame, start placing the removed parts. First, place and secure the button flex on the side of the frame. Next, secure the vibrator motor. Next, secure the AP speaker. Next, place the logic board on the new frame and then secure it with the screw. Next, place the charging port board with antennas. Next, place and secure the touch ID camera. Next, secure antennas in the frame slot and connect them to the logic board. Next, place the battery with adhesive.
Next, secure the main flex by connecting from both ends. Next, connect the battery plug. Next, turn on the device for testing. Next, place and secure the mid frame by adding 15 screws. Next, insert the SIM tray. Next, before installing the main back cover, ensure it has enough glue. If not, use B7000 glue or new double sided back adhesive. Finally, we are adding binding clips to tie in the rear car with the body. If not, you can use some rubber bands and leave them for some time. Hope you have enjoyed the replacement guide. Let us know if you have any questions. Please like, share and comment on our videos. Hit the subscribe button for more videos.